Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Today I would like to discuss about biobooster question related to chapter 11, Immunity. This is the last chapter in SB025. This chapter carries about 6.8% marks in PSPM2. Here we can see the figure 1 shows the action of a cell on an infected, infected host cell. They are both structures A, B, and C. So what is structure A? So structure A is cytotoxic T cell. What is cell B? Cell B is infected cell. And cell C is antigen fragment. Next question, what is the function of granzyme? Okay, the function of granzyme is to break down the proteins inside the plasma membrane. Question C, cell A, which is cytotoxic T cell, is activated with the help of a cell name the cell. Okay, the answer is helper T cell. Helper T cell will secrete interleukin 2 to activate cell A, which is cytotoxic T cell. Question D. Cell A is found in which type of immune response? Okay, the answer is cell-mediated immune response. Okay, because as we can see here, the cytotoxic T cell will attack the infected cell. So this is related to the cell-mediated immune response. Question E, what happened? Explain what happened if the same antigen infected the host. Okay, three marks. So the first one, the first answer is memory helper T cell. Okay, this is memory T cell. Okay, will stimulate the production of cytotoxic T cell. And then cyto, okay, uh, memory T cell will produce activated cytotoxic T cell. An activated cytotoxic T cell will kill the infected cell. Okay, the cytotoxic T cell will then attack and kill the infected cell. Question F, what type of cell that cannot be produced is if a child is born without thymus? So the answer is T cell. Okay, actually T cell is produced in the bone marrow but the cell will migrate to thymus and mature in thymus to become T cell. So if this child is born without thymus, T cell cannot be produced. We move to the next question. Figure 2 shows primary and secondary immune response. What is meant by secondary response? Okay, secondary response means the immune response produced during the second exposure to the same antigen at some later time. So this is related to the secondary immune response. Question B, name the classes of antibodies at X, Y, and Z. Okay, for antibody, class of antibody at X is IgM because IgM is produced during the first exposure to the antigen. Okay, so classes of antibodies Y is IgG because IgG will be produced in a large amount during the second exposure to the same antigen.
Okay, whereas for class uh, antibodies at Z is IgM. Okay, why? Because this is the second antigen. Okay, this is the new antigen. Okay, introduced in the body. So the body will um, identify the antigen as the first expo exposure. So IgM will be produced. Okay, question C. Why antibody Y is higher okay, than antibody X at week 4 to 6? Okay, at this week, okay, the antibody Y is higher, is produced higher than antibody X. Okay, because, okay, here, the memory B cells along live and enable rapid formation of many plasma cells to produce high concentration of antibody in a short time. So here, the memory B cells will produce the plasma cell. Then plasma cell will produce antibody. Next question. Name the cell that is involved in primary immune response. Okay. So the answer is helper T cell, okay, B cell or B lymphocyte. Whereas for secondary immune response, okay, uh, the helper T cell, memory B cell, or memory helper T cell. Okay, so any one, okay, answer. Okay, so there are two types of vaccination that are commonly given in Malaysia. So you can give two answers only. Okay, so BCG or rubella or HPV. So you can choose any two only. Next question. This is essay. Okay, carried about 10 marks. This question asks you to describe humoral immune response. Okay, so for the essay questions, you should write in a few paragraphs. Okay, so the first paragraph, macrophage in the body attack and engulf the pathogens which invade the body okay, by phagocytosis and degrading the antigens into fragments. So this sentence related to the step one here. Okay, macrophage will engulf the pathogens, okay, which invades the body by phagocytosis and degrading the antigens into the fragment. After that, the foreign antigen MHC complex Okay, it's displayed here on the macrophage surface. Then, helper T cell will bind with the complex. Yeah, and macrophage will secrete into leukin 1. Okay, this macrophage will secrete into leukin 1. Okay, into leukin 1 will activate helper T cell. Okay, so as you can see here, proliferation of helper T cell, okay, and give rise to a clone of activated T cell. Antigen also binds to the antibody receptor at B cell. Okay, so this is B cell, and antigen also can bind to the antibody receptor okay, at B cell, which then degraded into fragments in the B cell. Okay, this is the fragment. B cells then displace the fragment together with MHC on the surface. As you can see here, okay, the B cells contains MHC on its surface. So then, this activated helper T cell will bind with the B cell, okay, at the MHC, okay, antigen MHC complex. Activated 
T cell, yeah, this activated helper T cell will secrete interleukin 2. Yeah, it will secrete, in, secrete interleukin 2 to activate this B cell. Okay, after that, the activated B cell, this is activated B cell, will proliferate, okay, proliferate or um, proliferate, yeah, or differentiate to produce clone of B cell. Okay, clone of B cell. B cell differentiate, okay, into plasma cell. Okay, uh, proliferate means uh, divide, yeah, divide or multiply. Okay, to produce clone of B cell. And then B cell will differentiate into plasma cells, yeah, plasma cells and memory B, B cells, yeah, plasma cell and memory B cell. So, plasma cell will secrete antibodies. Yeah? So, actually antibodies are secreted by plasma cells, yeah? which defend against foreign antigen. Okay, so as you can see here, humoral immune response yeah, involves production of antibody. Then antibody will bind to the antigens. Okay, next question, question 4. Describe briefly three types of antigen-antibody interaction. Okay, so here as you can see, as you can see there are one, two, three, and four paragraph. So for each point, okay, you can give uh, or you can write in one paragraph. Okay. Paragraph 1, there are three types of antigen-antibody interaction which are neutralization, opsonization, and activation of complement system and pore formation. So this is your introduction. Okay, next paragraph, you explain about the, the first interaction. Okay, the first antigen antibody interaction which is neutralization so neutralization is when antibodies bind to the antigen and block the antigen from binding to the receptor making the pathogens to become inactive okay so as you can see here this is the antibody so antibody will bind to the antigen Okay, so that the, this antigen cannot bind to the, to the receptor. Okay, making the pathogens become inactive. Yeah, so now this pathogen is inactive, cannot bind to the, to the other cells. Okay, the second antigen-antibody interaction, okay, is opsonization. Yeah, opsonization is when antibodies bind to the antigen on the surface of bacteria and then this promotes phagocytosis by macrophage and neutrophils okay so this is the macrophage yeah? okay so antibodies will bind to the antigen on the surface of the bacteria and then it will promote phagocytosis yeah all right, phagocytosis. As you can he see here, the macrophage will engulf the bacteria or pathogens. Okay, so the third antigen-antibody interaction okay, is activation of complement system and pore formation. Okay, so antibodies will bind with the complement protein and activate it. Okay, as you can see here, yeah, these are the antibody okay so antibody will bind to the complement protein okay this is the complement proteins and activate it all right and then okay the um, formation of membrane attack complex will will be occurred yeah? so this protein will attach or bind to the membrane 
okay, to the membrane and then produce pore. Okay, the proteins will form pore yeah, in the membrane. So, when there are formations of pore, okay, water will move through the pore okay, into the cytoplasm here. So, what will happen when water diffuses into the cell through the membrane or through the pore? Okay, so as you can see here, okay, the cell will burst, okay, or will be lysed. Okay, and then the infected cell will be destroyed. Okay. So thank you, that's all.